I am back again. I'm really excited to see your dongers. Why is everything look lopsided? Ugh, shouldn't have done that. I mean, honestly, that went about as well as I expected. It wasn't making much sense. Okay, you get the idea. <sighs> Hello, you gorgeous McMuffin. That's a little bit of a clue as for what's about to happen. Bit of a surprise this morning. Ooh. <laughs> You're not going to enjoy it. I just thought it would be funny. I, interestingly... I feel, I feel good this morning. And why do I feel good, Oliver? Because there have been a couple of parts of what I would consider to be like a validation. So a couple of YouTube comments, not necessarily validating that I'm doing the right thing, but they're just like compliments, right? And then the phone call with the talent manager yesterday was a bit of a ego boost. <laughs> and I obviously feel very good about that. And I'm trying to th work out, I think it's natural, right, to, to feel better when you've had, received some sort of validation. But I'm trying to work out, is that a driver? Am I, am I driven by validation? Like, am I one of those people, not that, you know, that's a bad thing. Oh, I actually, I probably think it's a bad thing actually but someone who is driven by being validated. Am I that person? And I've always just tried to tell myself I'm not that person because I've always thought that's bad. <clears throat> I think yes and no. I would say maybe up to a normal point, like to a very average point across people, that's true. But I also have the ability to, uh, if I'm not feeling good about something, if I'm not feeling confident, I also mentally have the ability to look at my situation and get myself in a better place. Which gave me a different thought. Siri, pod vlog quickie. You will need to unlock your device Pod vlog quickie. Oh, here it is. Uh, right. So I don't know if you want to call it, if we call it ADHD or whatever we want to call it, just the way my mind works, right? Like I, I really, I really dislike that people lean on something like ADHD. Perhaps I don't understand how other people feel. So let me, I'll uh, retract that statement. I don't want to lean on having ADHD as a reason I can or can't do things. Like I am the way I am and I want to improve the way I am. So, bloody hell Oliver, you don't stop talking, do you? Yesterday, I really wanted to get a load of clips of like fun, funny clips made from these pod vlogs, right? But I was crippled by how much I had to do. Number one, figuring out the right way to do it for longevity purposes. Number two, I wrote this down. Pod vlog quickie. Uh, number two was making sure I get all the clips that I need to out of each pod vlog. Number three was making sure I get enough edited per day. And then there was a number four. I don't remember what that was. But essentially all of that combined brought me to a place where mentally I just couldn't take a step. I just didn't take a step in the right direction. And so I was crippled. But I'm very also, I'm very also, I'm also very pleased with the fact that I have the ability to see that situation for what it is and like be able to take a step back like I have now and think I'm trying to take on too much at one time. Let's just do, let's just take one idea that I have from a clip that I remember and make that happen. The other things will fall into place as I learn more because the reason it's so difficult for me to figure out is because I don't have enough information.
to figure it out. That's the way I think. Right, let me order this. Speaker. Oh gosh, it's hot. I feel like I've made a grave error here. I haven't brought water. And this is going to be tough. Right where I am. <laughs> Hi, do you have a rewards code? No, drive through code. What would you like to order? I have a drive through code. What's your code? BA43. One moment, please. Thanks for your mobile order. Please pull forward to the pay window. Hi, how you doing? Good morning. Good morning, thank, thank you. you. Bye. Good, bye. Uh, all right. We're going, we're going two times because I'm that cheap. <clears throat> uh, rewards and deals. Sorry. Um, what else do I have? Oh, here we go. That's right. Thank you very much. Thanks, you too. You're going to go, you silly cow. Thanks. All right, I'm almost done here. You know what I really hated was some lady was in the drive through in this lane, but there was space in front of her, and so she'd stopped like where I am now when the speaker is up there because she was ordering on her phone and she was blocking the lane to order food. I just stand back, like... Hi, will you be using the McDonald's app today? No, I have a voice code. Oh, yes. <laughs> What's your code? NH56. One moment, please. Thanks for your mobile order. Nice. Bro, I'm already gone. This lady's gonna be like, this dude again? Okay. Pod vlog quickie. Uh, Something went wrong. No, it didn't. Please try again. I don't know why it does that all the time. Hello again. <laughs> Are you back? I am back again. <laughs> no, I'm okay. Thank you. Thanks to you too. Uh, okay, the next piece. Um, this was quite interesting. It was Pep Guardiola and something Magnuson or Magnuson something the world famous chess player so you have probably the best soccer football coach of all time and the best chess player in the world like two amazing strategists and I think the caption to the video was something along the lines of Pep thinks Magnus is a genius or like thinks about football in a genius way and 
I remember I was watching the video and I'm thinking to myself, because I, I started watching it and I was like, this doesn't pertain to me. I'm not going to get anything from this. So I scrolled and I was like, no, I'm going to go back to this video and see, is there something in here that can change my perspective on what I'm doing? So if Magnus has his perspective on life, which is chess, Pep has his perspective, which is soccer. If Magnus is able to take his perspective on chess and attribute that to soccer, is there a way that I can do the same from, let's say chess or football into content creation? I didn't get anything from it. Like nothing came to mind. <laughs> so a bit of a waste, but I always think it's interesting seeing other areas in life, looking at those perspectives and trying to weave it into the things that I'm doing in my life. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Cheers. All right, here we go. We're going to make this happen. Just get hyped, all right? Get excited. This is the day that you see this pod vlog and you're like, oh my goodness. I am so glad that I'm wasting my life with Oliver. <laughs> I, you shouldn't feel that way. You shouldn't feel that way, should you? I shouldn't make it. I shouldn't talk about, like I'm trying to be funny, but I shouldn't talk about you watching my videos as a waste of life, should I? Because that's pretty condescending. And I, I don't, I'm obviously doing this because I think I have some decent bits to share. Not always, but sometimes. All right, give me a second to get prepared. If you know what's coming, then my apologies. If you're about to be shocked by what's coming, then my apologies. <laughs> Come on. Ugh, shouldn't have done that. I purposefully didn't buy something for my wife and I'm purposefully eating in the car because my wife is constantly fighting with not eating these things because she's pregnant and trying to eat healthy. So like, I try not to eat these things around her. I try not to get them. but this is for business. All right, one and a half ketchups. Dinner. You know the rules, big up Mackie D's. Big up Mackie D's. I gotta say, I gotta try and follow it with no more bites. The stair. <clears throat> How does he do that? How does he do that? Oh. One more bite. I'm, I'm so sorry. I can't do the swallow. I'll do the stare. Well seasoned. That was, uh, I mean, honestly, that went about as well as I expected. I could do with some water. I should have taken my Jinkies bottle into the gym. Right. I'm not going to make you sit through this. I'll just see you at home. But we're, today's focus is just clips. We're going to take it one at a time, okay? And we're going to learn it. Learn what to do. Yeah. All right. See you at home. All right. I've decided this section, as I flip flop in between, hopefully that makes sense in a second. There's going to be lots of stopping and starting of recording. 
I'm doing that because there's going to be lots of bits where I'm doing boring stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it instead of being able to uh, talk at the same time because I'm pretty useless with multitasking. But I will share what I'm doing right now. So Podblog44, I've gone in, pulled out all the clips I want. I have got three types of clips, really. I've got clips, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I've also got bits that I think are just like on their own, just funny. They're not gonna, they, they wouldn't just be a full clip. They might like go with a random text above the top. Like what's one I have here? This, this, I've just marked this one as funny. It says, For your first flight, please fly outdoor for a better flying experience. Nope, absolutely. And I think that can go with uh, something like, I don't know, a stupid caption. I've also then got items that I've marked as green screen where I would take out all the background and just have this clip and then you would use them as like one of those cap cut templates that you see on TikTok. And my thinking there, I've had this for a week or two now, but I only recently had the idea that I could create a whole library of these like green screen effects so that if we get somewhere, it's a library that people, like if you're a viewer, you can use them as well. Like I feel like that's a good tactic to get my face more out there. Or, you know, for people to be thinking, who the hell is this todger? <laughs> yeah, and if I can create all these templates on CapCut, number one, you can generate revenue through that program on CapCut, and two, which is the main goal here, is to allow other people like yourself to use them if you find them funny. Like, try and make it as easy as possible for you. This is the wrong way to put it, to help me. <laughs> it's the wrong way to put it, but like to use things that you might find funny from here. Cool, so yeah, I'm gonna export these bits separately. You'll see in a second what I've done. All right, check this out. So this is one of the AI tools, it's the background remover. So this is where I'm creating the kind of like green screen TikTok meme effect things. This is, seems to only be available on the uh, web version on Chrome but it seems to work pretty well it takes a little bit like a, a couple of minutes for something that's under 10 seconds but it's working I just did one of them it's working pretty well look move the background yeah buddy now is that video ready to go out tonight no no it's not nice I will Export that, and like something like this, I think would be funny as um, like when your wife asks you for the tenth time to do something. Dude, I think <clears throat> again, I'm probably a little biased, but I think this kind of thing is genius for building out a, a brand. I think this is so genius. And I know that sounds ridiculous because it's my idea. But like if I saw someone else doing this, I'd think genius. Is it okay? Oh, this flipping headrest, dude. Can you get out? Can you? Can you get? Can you? I forget how much this chair was, if it was 900 or 1800. By the way, I'm fully aware that that is absolutely mental for a chair, I know that. But for something that I, like I had a bad chair before, and for something I sit in for as long as I do, I thought it would be a good idea to invest in that. So I did. And your first flight, please fly outdoor for a better flying experience. Nope. <laughs> oh, Oliver, you're so funny. Didn't mean to export it with that name. 
So there are three I've made from this video that I can now just put on top of something. I like that a lot. No, I don't need all of this stuff in here. AdWords. That is so old. That is so old. One second. I'll tell you what I would like is a way to add to the mask. So like you can see this bit here, but I can't get rid of that. Why is everything lopsided? Okay, I decided to do a little bit of this in solitude to try and figure out, because it just, it wasn't making much sense the way I was do doing it for you, sorry. So, let me, let's, let's, let's show you my screen right here. I've made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these, okay? I also managed to get the social automation piece, the actual automation of it working again. I don't know what the issue was, but we got it working. So then, would you like to see kind of what I was thinking? Let's start at the beginning, shall we? Hang on. Here we go. Ever looked at my mom like I'm depressed? She goes, no, you're not. Just the neighbor's dog. What you up to? You out in the snow? You playing? Of course you are. Did you get out? Stop saying that. Cool. How brilliant was that? Uh, so I, a couple of things here. One, I like the idea that it's just like stupid. It's fun. It's, it's not taking it too serious. Whereas the whole time I've been thinking about this previously is, is only clipping out the serious parts. And I, I don't think they really make too much sense out of context. And I don't want my footprint across social media to like if, uh, across these videos to be super serious. This isn't even connected. Hello? Sorry, I'll play this again. Ever looked at my mom like I'm depressed? She goes, no, you're not. Just the neighbor's dog. What you up to? You out in the snow? You playing? Of course you are. Did you get out? Stop saying that. All right. Yeah. And then one of the other things is that I have made sure to put this like a kind of, I guess we'll call it a watermark. You see it right here. So it shows the name of like who this all goes back to and the pod vlog that this is from. So if someone like watches this part, like, oh, I kind of want to see what happens there. Then they know once they find out where these videos come from, then they can figure out which video it was. I actually learned that from the social SEO thing that I mentioned two days ago from a podcast I listened to over the weekend. I think that's a really good thing I've picked up. Next one, you ready? I don't think anybody has gone further in entertainment with less talent than this kid. Hey Siri, pod vlog quickie. Pod vlog, oh goodness sake. Pod vlog quickie. If it isn't the tenacious tip of Tiptonville, Tennessee. I don't, you don't need, that's okay, you've done, thank you. Right, stupid. <laughs> Next one. This needs a reaction. Yeah. He has like an air of inauthenticity to him. So, and like, it's always hard for me to be around people that are like pretending. This might be the, flat out the worst purchase I've ever made on Amazon. I tell you what, with the sun shining, it's really not too bad. I didn't expect myself to say that. But if you go... So these Andrew Schultz bits are from an interview where he's talking about, sorry, from his podcast where he's talking about his time with Steiny. And it was a huge thing, so I thought these would be quite good to try and capitalize on. But if you go into it going, this is the worst podcast ever, and then it satisfies that, you're like, hell yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not at all looking forward to this video. I bloody hate the cold. Honestly, this was the worst thing that's ever happened. <laughs> I don't think anybody- Cool, good one. And then we've got a couple more here. And so while I've done these ones, I, I kind of giving you a quick look here at what 
the timeline is going to look like until such time as I get accepted into the the CapCut template program to be able to turn these into templates. So it would actually look like if I zoom into this one here. So just look at where this bar starts and finishes. So the template would have this slot and then it would have a space where you can put in other footage. So like this section here, this clip, bit for a space for another bit of footage and then that. So that it's like a drag and drop template to use. So you would then just go into, if this if it will work this way, templates in here, find the one that you've created, drag it onto the timeline and then you can just throw in the clips. Yeah. All right, so next, uh, let's start with, I've I pulled out a lot of clips for this. Some of these are actually gonna be just green screen clips that I just remove the background from and I can use as funny clips. Ever looked at my mom like I'm depressed? So there are a couple of features we got in here with the Pro and we paid for Pro, which were actually quite good. So hang on a minute. I guess I can't do multiple at one time, but I'm going to use the this function to pull out the filler words and the pauses, which it honestly isn't working particularly well. Like I'd like, yeah, it just isn't, yeah. So I'm gonna have to go back in and like, I didn't annoyingly delete these bits, which is very frustrating, but I just don't think the pauses aren't gonna work on short form content. I've already tried and tested it. So it needs to be as concise, not necessarily as concise, but it needs to not have these pauses where it gives someone a chance to, it gives someone any reason to scroll. That's the really shoddy thing. I was actually talking with uh, Keats Cubes, is his name? Commented and we were just briefly talking about how TikTok as a platform or short form content, it's all about instead of what was the verbiage? Let me find it right now. Because it was it's quite interesting actually. Studio comments here. on YouTube. It's what do I want to keep watching? So on long form content, it's what do I want to keep watching versus on TikTok or short form content, what do I want to stop watching? Because when yeah, someone's on short form content, you're just looking for the first reason to say goodbye to that video and you know, set that gambling wheel in motion to find the next video, regardless of whether it's gonna be better or worse. I quite often actually find myself watching a video, getting bored a little bit into it, scrolling. The next video is absolute trash, so I'll come back to it. Do you ever do that? I don't. This is quite boring to watch, I'm afraid. I was kind of hoping that the thing would have worked a bit better. The tool would have worked a bit better, but there's some other things here that do work semi-decently. I'm not really talking about the actual issue, but I don't think it's right to talk about the actual issue. Like that I think would be kind of funny as like uh, I don't know how I would explain it yet, but if the wife's annoyed at you about something, 
this is your response. Like you don't want to talk about the thing because you think it's going to make her even more mad by mentioning that thing. All right, let's go, let's go to this first one. Oops. All right, what is this? Seven years ago, I didn't realize there was an AM and PM version of cold and flu medicine. So I was at work one day, went to go get some cold and flu medicine. Bought the blue one, because I like blue. I did what I needed to do. Took my shot, got back to work, did what I needed to do while well, I was trying to do what I needed to do. And I'm like, I'm sat there and I feel like I'm... Blue one, because I like blue. Took my... Uh, I think this editing part is quite interesting because I'm I'm removing parts of the conversation that don't need to be said to try and make it as concise to try and make it more concise whereas I like the feel of it on YouTube but yeah. shot got back to work and I'm like I'm sat there and I feel like I'm drunk what the hell's going on I haven't drunk this afternoon and I did I just can't work it out for the longest time and eventually when I pulled the bottle out of my bag a few days later, I realized that actually I've just taken, I've just taken PM medicine. That was when I learned there's a difference. Oh, look, I, I think I look rude. Don't need that bit, do you? Seven years ago, I didn't realize there was an AM and PM version of cold and flu medicine. So I was at work. I think I'm going to take out the seven years ago, actually. Not that it's going to save me from looking too stupid, but I don't really care if people watch this video and like, oh my God, this guy, how old is he? And he didn't realize. And then I'll leave them to comment or whatever. Or maybe they'll be, they'll want to go and find out more information from the video. Oh, swanky. Okay. How do I look? I think I look really good. I think um, if I were in a morgue, I think they'd probably say I look the best one there. I I think that can just be a a random funny clip on its own. I'm being quite cryptic. I'm not really talking about the actual issue, but I don't think it's right to talk about the actual issue. I need to sort myself out this morning. I am an absolute mental mess. Like just because someone else does the... This bit isn't very interesting, is it? I'm afraid, because I'm trying to cut out the bits. The way that you want to do it. Yes, the... I think I can cut out this section. Let's see what this looks like. like. Just because someone else does think something a different way to the way that you want to do it, but it doesn't always mean it's wrong. It just means it's you know, different preferences. All right, I'm going to stop for right now because I'm not making too much sense. So we'll pick back up when I'm in when I'm uh, at home getting stuff done. I don't know why why that's interesting. I would <laughs> call myself an overthinker. That doesn't necessarily mean I'm good at thinking, it just means that I overthink. I want to show you all of it. I guess in for these videos that I've picked out, these clips, I didn't pick them out. I actually picked them out more as standalone clips with a funny caption to them, as opposed to fitting in with some of the ideas I had. But we can see, maybe, like we've got some to work through I want here. to show you all of it. The breakfast pizza, the loaded bowls, the biscuits and gravy, the, I don't know, but the sunset looks quite nice, do you know? I thought, yeah. I thought this would be kind of funny because it's like, if you go on the idea that you're talking to someone about your hobby, but then you realize that they're getting disinterested or they're losing interest. And so you just go into something random. Look at me. Got the state of that. Sick as a dolphin. What's the phrase? Sick as a dog. Oh look, there's a golden corral buffet and grill. That is sweet. <laughs> I thought that one, when she says she doesn't know where to eat, so you find the closest place. Oliver, you are you are a funny dude, aren't you? You are a funny sausage, Oliver. Okay, let's excuse me. Let's do captions. So 
One of the other benefits to paying for CapCut per month is the auto captions you have because they're just unmatched in terms of I guess quality and price for anything else that has them available, any other AI service that does them. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's bring you down quite a long way. Oh, dude. I didn't realize there was an AM and PM version. I guess I'm going to delete all of these. Oh, this is annoying. See, this is the other problem I have with this timeline is, is doing it all on one timeline is that every time I add captions, it adds them for the whole timeline. I can't just select a small section. What can you do? I didn't realize there was an I I didn't realize there was an AM and PM version of cold and flu medicine. So I was. Oh, that's right. Let me bring these down. Not all of these need captions, actually, do they? No, Oliver, they don't. Let's make sure I change this to podlog45. I didn't realize there was an AM and PM. I also need to... Change the scaling of this, so auto reframe. Let's try it in nine by 16. I, did, I just can't work it out for the longest time. And eventually when I pull the bottle out of my bag a few days later, I realized that actually I've just taken, I've just taken PM medicine. Oh, look, I, I think I look. All right, so obviously the captions are not in the ideal spot. What am I doing there? Let's move this to here. No. I wanted all of you to move. And this should be along the bottom. I realized. What's going on here? I just can't work it out for the longest time. And eventually, when I. What? Can't work it out for the longest time. And eventually, when I pull the bottle. Why did those get all messed up? My bag a few days later, I realized that actually I've just taken, I've just taken PM medicine. You donut, Oliver, you've moved them all over. No, you haven't. Oh, I don't know what, what the bloody hell's going I on anymore. I didn't realize there was an AM and PM version of cold and flu medicine. So I was at work one day, bought the blue one, because I like blue, took my shot, got back to work and I'm like, I'm sat there and I feel like I'm drunk. What the hell's going on? I haven't drunk this. And she put like some stupid dramatic music. Uh, what is this? I realized Mate, what? Okay, yep, let's not, let's not do I that. I didn't realize there was an I feel like this would be funny made into a dramatic edit. So like, <laughs> just something stupid like adjustments, uh, Turn down the saturation. I didn't realize there was an AM and PM version of cold and flu medicine. And then add like random effects to it. Took my shot, got back to work, and I'm like, so I was at work one day, bought, took my shot, on, because I. I don't know. Let's throw you on there. Bought the blue one, because I like blue. Took my shot, got
got back to work and I'm like, I'm sat there and I feel like I'm drunk. What the hell's going on? I haven't drunk this afternoon. And there, and I feel like, and I'm like, I'm sat there and I feel like I'm, and I'm like, I'm, and I feel like I'm drunk. What the hell's going on? Optical zoom. What the hell's going on? I haven't drunk this afternoon and I, I just can't work it out for the, this stuff isn't even funny. Why am I doing it then? I haven't drunk this afternoon. Radial blur. I don't know what's going on here. This afternoon. Uh... What is up with all of this? I just can't work it out for the longest time and eventually... I haven't drunk this afternoon. Uh... I don't really know what's happening here. And I... Neon flow. It's just noon. And I did. I just can't work it out for the longest. It's just stupid, isn't it? And I did. I just can't work it out for the longest time. And eventually, when I pull the bottle out of my bag a few days later, I realised that actually I've just taken I've just taken PM medicine. Oh look, I, I think. It's such a bad edit. I don't know why I've done those things, but I can't be bothered to go and change them again. <laughs> Alright, so there's one clip. Oh. Yep. Uh, I guess we'll just export that as drunk at work. And then instead of that folder, we're going to put it into the right day. Clips. I should make one to kind of show you um, at least how I think about adding it in with a different uh, clip, right? Let's do that. What's cool is from here, I guess I'll show you at the end that I just drag everything into a Google Drive folder. I didn't realize and then it there was an runs automatically. Hello, look, I, I think I look really good. I think um, if I were in a morgue, I think they'd probably say I look the best one. Oh, but you are so funny. Uh, let's bring in this Piers Morgan interview. Because I think it's the time. Start no, just I ask you, why are you doing this interview? Ask you, why are you do just by ask you. Let me start just by ask you, why are you doing this interview? Let's we see if that fits. Hello, look, I, I think I look really good. I think um, if I were in a morgue, I think. What did, what's the first bit? Cristiano. Uh, it doesn't fit with this one, does it? I know I'm being quite cryptic. I'm not really talking about the actual issue, but I don't think it's right to talk about the actual issue. I need to sort myself out this morning. I am an absolute mental mess. Like just because someone else does think something a different way to the way that you want to do it, but it doesn't always mean it's wrong. It just means it's you know, different preferences. All right, I'm, I'm gonna, I don't know why, I, why that's interesting. I would call myself an overthinker. That doesn't necessarily mean I'm good at thinking. It just means that I overthink. I want to show you all of it. The breakfast, pizza. That works. So, Cristiano, let me stop. I don't know what is going on with these captions. They didn't work very well at all, did they? I ask you, why are you doing this interview? I want to show you all of it. The breakfast pizza, the loaded bowls, the biscuits and gravy, the, I don't know, but the sunset looks quite nice. Do you want to see it? <laughs> see, like, there's a clip. I think that's quite funny. 
uh, and that can be both its own clip just like that and I can take it without the Piers Morgan bit at the beginning but if I go with that and then go with reframe go with 9 by 16 how does that work I guess I don't want the auto reframe I would just like ask you why are you doing this interview I want to show you all of it <laughs> the breakfast pizza the loaded bowls the biscuits and gravy the so dumb I don't know but the sunset looks quite nice do you want to see it <laughs> let me start just by asking you why are you doing this interview I want to show you all of it doesn't make any sense, does it? All right, okay, you get the idea of what these look like. I'm gonna go back and add a couple of captions, but from this point, uh, look at that, ego boosting, checking out my, what's it called? I would just go find the clips I've edited, like obviously there'll be more than one in here, hopefully. Just dragging and dropping into here. And then the automation runs at every two hours from 10 a.m to midnight and hopefully people like like the bits like I, I think this is really good that I've gotten at least made some strides on this these this and maybe I'll do these a bit more and then I can start focusing on making compilations of things it'd be sweet if I could make these into templates and if you felt like you wanted to, do, to make some of these edits, you could, and then I'll just set up a folder in here that won't auto post, all right? So you're gonna be getting your dongers sent to these fan pages, but see how it works. But I, th I think from this point, I'm really excited to see if these have more of an impact. It's funny, I did get a comment either last night, I think it was last night it came in, of someone who had come to the YouTube from the videos on the fan accounts, which was cool to see. All right, I'm gonna just make a few minor edits to these captions and stuff, and then, uh, oh, why haven't I, I know this is a burning question on your mind, why haven't I done the, or edited the cryotherapy and sauna videos? It's because that company messaged me yesterday and said they were interested in doing some paid videos and so it, since i've already done one video for them for free it would be stupid of me essentially i could be leaving a lot of money on the table if there's a partnership to be made there so i'll just hold off on those yeah all right cool see you tomorrow boss man